Last time I did the speed test between the Pakiak and the Taktik to see the speed differences between these two kayaks. This time I am doing a speed comparison of the Euroblade versus the Greenland paddle while using the Pakiak. I'll use the results of the Pakiak and the Euroblade from last time as the conditions are very similar to last time and the distance covered won't create a large discrepancy. For the Greenland paddle, I'll be using the GearLab Akiak with my Pakiak. I'll leave some links below on the previous speed test so you can take a look at your own time. So now stay till the end to see the speed difference between these two paddles. Okay, let's get started. So the Greenland paddle that I'm using, it's a GearLab Akiak and I'm using the regular size and I'll leave the specs on the screen. Apparently it is GearLab's most popular carbon fiber paddle and in Greenlandic, Akiak means bravery. Supposedly the size of the Greenland paddle equates to power. The longer the paddle, the more power it produces as expected, and the short paddle produces less power but more agile. The long version of the Akiak is 230cm long, and the one I'm using is the regular which is 220cm. The short version is 210cm. As advised by GearLab themselves, to get the best of both worlds, get the regular size, which will give you enough power while relaxing enough for long journeys. So GearLab also has two other paddles. One is the Calic, which is a high-end version and much lighter, but again, you're paying the high price point as well. The other one is yet to launch and it's called the Epic, and I believe it's starting to sell in spring this year. That one is even lighter than the Calic and has an oval-shaped shoulder loom, so it should be really, really interesting. As you can see, the conditions are very similar to last time. The tide is slowly rising and it's very, very calm. There is minimal current and very little wind, so the variables to impact this test should be very minimal. Okay, I'm reaching the first checkpoint here and I can really feel the faster cadence of the Greenland paddle versus the Euroblade. Now, some of you are probably thinking, what's the difference? Well, I would say that they're very different and can be used for different purposes and also your own personal preference. If you think about the Euroblade, the more common paddle, they also come in many different sizes and shapes too. They also can be feathered. In this video, I'm using a low angle Euroblade, which is slimmer and longer with slightly less surface area than the high angle blades. Low angle Euroblades are more commonly used for touring as it is a more relaxed paddling. The high angle blade is more commonly used for sprints and rough water kayaking due to the high power and high reactivity. So if I used that for this test, I would definitely would have gone faster with it. With the Greenland paddle, you have the thin narrow blades where you're pushing less water in each stroke, but you'll be doing more strokes compared to the Euro blade. But that means you have less pressure on your shoulders or arms and people tend to use it for touring. Also, the Greenland paddle is very buoyant and much more forgiving. So rolling is excellent with the Greenland paddle, but you have to be very cautious on the angle of the blade or you'll fall straight in. You can see some of my rolling videos where you can see me diving into the water because I was holding the paddle in the wrong angle. Okay, I'm on the home stretch and pushing really, really hard to get there. I think I need to work more on my cardio. Similar to last time, I had to stop for a few seconds here and there to catch my breath. So let's recap. My test with the Pakiak and the Euroblade took me 6.17 minutes and the average speed was 8.54 kilometers per hour. Now let's see the results of this test with my Greenland paddle. The total time took me 7.15 minutes, so almost one minute slower than the Euroblade. I did however travel a bit further, but by only about 10 meters, so it's not really going to impact the result as much. So now, what you have been waiting for. The speed of the Greenland paddle was 7.5 kilometers per hour. Was this the result you expected? It's actually quite interesting to see the speed difference between these two. For me, the results were expected as I predicted in my mind. The Euroblade is definitely more reactive and has more power, but I do get tired more quickly than the Greenland Paddle. Even though I expected the Greenland Paddle to be slower, I didn't expect it to be this fast, which is a really, really good surprise. Okay, so that's it for this test. But if you have any other tests you would like me to try, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have the Greenland Paddle and the Euroblade, why don't you test it yourself and let me know the results to see if they're similar or not. So that's it for today and thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time.